Catalytic converter thefts are a growing problem in Oregon and Washington, and it's a crime that goes beyond just parked cars. Tonight, we're hearing from a man who had his catalytic converter stolen from his RV while it was in storage. Fox 12's Paulina Aguilar has the story all new at 6. It happened at the RV storage facility you see behind me, where thieves were able to break in by cutting a hole through a fence and stole a catalytic converter off an RV. On May 1st, around midnight, Clark County deputies were called after a security team saw multiple people mulling around inside the fence of an RV storage facility. No matter what you do here to try and secure your property, they're going to get it no matter what. Investigators believe the thieves broke in by cutting a hole through a fence. We spoke with an RV owner, Jason, who says his catalytic converter was stolen and he will have to pay thousands to get it fixed. Over two grand later, it's going to cost me to get it fixed. The money that you have to replace this Cadillac converter for on any vehicle, no less a, a motorhome, is going to turn around and, and set back doing anything. By the time deputies arrived, the thieves escaped through the same hole and left behind a saw blade. Another storage facility a couple miles away is dealing with the same problem. Thieves also cut a hole through the fence just last month. So somebody clipped through it, obviously. Um, we're not sure if it was someone in this lot trying to get into that lot, someone in that lot trying to get into this lot. We're not sure how they got into the lot. Those people are obviously extremely understanding um, just because they know it's not our fault and now we're doing everything we can. But there's obviously a lot of frustration there, though. And it's frustration for us, too, because we'd like to do everything we can to keep everyone happy and protect everyone's belongings. And frustration is an understatement. The Sheriff's Department, Vancouver PD Associate Staff, they can't do much. Their hands are tied. They can't do much to look into these things. Jason plans on putting an alarm system on his RV once it's fixed, but says this just adds more to people already going through a hard time. What little that they do have to go out and do things, you know, without having to spend major amounts of money, and that's taken away from them, that's kind of, you know, destroying people in a way. That's kind of destroying their hopes for... You know, their expectations to go out and be with their kids, their family, to, to be there. No arrests have been made, but Clark County Sheriff's Department say that they will follow up on any reports they receive. Reporting in Vancouver, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon.